Of course, it was also a bittersweet day, though, at the K as the Royals begin their homestand without Giordano Ventura, who died back in January. KCTV 5's Danny Weldniak shows us how the team paid tribute to the ace. Danny. Thanks, guys. Well, the Royals have been through spring training and six games already without Giordano Ventura. Before the game, Ned Yost said that seeing his mom throw out that first pitch today would be the most emotional and gut wrenching moment that they've dealt with all season. Before this game, they had a lot of things out to tribute him. They had a banner inside the clubhouse, they had a tribute at his locker for him. They covered the mound with a plastic Ace 30 cover and have his number on the Hall of Fame. The Royals also sporting that black patch on their jersey sleeves. And Ned says you don't ever separate emotions from the game. This is life. And the game is just that. It's a game. This is and was so much bigger. So I don't know if you can ever, um, you know, disassociate yourself from that or make yourself numb to that because he was such a big part of us. Uh, and it's still, you know, it's still very, um, you know, still, it's still very heartbreaking to a lot of guys in there. It just takes time. It's the only thing that's going to, that's going to, you know, heal things is time. The Royals also held a large flag behind the pitching mound that had ACE 30 on it as well after the national anthem. Just so mon many emotions going on here at Kauffman, and obviously they're so excited to be back home at the K. We'll hear from some of the players coming up a little later in the show. But for now, live from Kauffman, I'm Danny Wolney at KCTV 5 Sports. Yeah, for so many reasons, Danny, it is good to be home. Thank you so much for that.